Hello everyone, my name is Isa, I'm the manager of Estetikana Clinic and I take this video to give you general information about hair transplant in simple way. And uh, before patients come to us, they ask many questions, so I'm going to answer all the questions in simple way. So, people coming here for hair transplantation from USA, from Europe, from Croatia, actually from all over the world. And when you come here for hair transplantation, you just need three days. Why three days? Because first day we do operation, and operation take roughly about between four to eight hours. It depends how many graft you need. And second day, you come again. We are gonna remove your bandage, and that takes on half an hour. And third day, you come again our clinic, and we are gonna do first wash. And first wash is very important because you have to be carefully and we're gonna show you how to do it. Then you're gonna do it yourself once a day for 10 days. And after third day, you can go back to your country and there is no any problem and there will be nothing. And it, if any complication happen or side effect, it happens in first three days. After uh, three days, nothing happened. And after operation anyway, we're gonna give you all the medication, all the antibiotic, painkiller. So you just need to come here for three days. So what we do, when you come here, we are VIP clinic and we take maximum two patients a day. Why maximum two patients? Because when patient comes, we want to focus the person. We want to focus the uh, patient and we give our 100% to give you 100% uh, natural result. Because if we take more than two patients, like 4, 5, 6, 10 or 20, that means we cannot focus every patient. So that is why Estetikana, VIP and exclusive. When you contact us, first we ask you about your hair photo. Because before you come, we need to analyze. From top of it, from left side, from right side, and most important, the back of your head, which is the area. You need to send us your photo. After we analyze your photo, we're gonna go. You, uh, we're gonna give you all the information because this photo is very important. In simple way, hair transplantation, we take from the area and implant hair area. And I explain always like this: if there is a five hair on your donor area, we take just two of them. Because the graft we take, it doesn't grow back. So if there is a 5 hair on northern area, we take two of them, which is about 30 or 40 percent. We take from here and we cover here. And when we take, we take very homogeneously. So when your hair generally grow even a little bit like this, it is not going to be visible. It's going to be a little bit thinner, but it is not going to be understandable. So this is simple way hair transplantation. How we do? how other clinics do in simple way. If there is a five hair on the area graft, we take two of them and the graft we take, it doesn't grow back. So we take very homogeneously and what we take two graft, then we implant tail area. And the method we do with extraction is FUE method. What is FUE method? Follicular unit extraction. And we call this FUE. How it works? We have a micro motor, and on micro motor there is a punch, different punch. There is a 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.95. It depends your hair, and it depends your graft quality, and it depends how thick and how thin. So first we do local anesthesia. After local anesthesia, we inject liquid. That liquid to separate your skin from the bone. And after we inject liquid, we take the graft one by one with micro motor. And this FUE, there is no any cut on your donor area. There will be on no stitch, nothing. So we take one by one, and after that, it is not going to be visible. After we take the graft, the latest method, DHI, we use the DHI Choi Pen. What is DHI? When we take the graft with choy pen, after we take the graft, we put in choy pen. When we put the graft in choy pen, then we direct implant, which is we call DHI, direct hair implantation. 
Before we were doing a few sapphire. A few sapphire was for us old method. Still some people do uh, click to it, but for us old method. Why we stop uh, sapphire? Because sapphire is three step, DHA is two step. When we take the graft with the sapphire, doctor open the holes with sapphire blade and after technicians put the graft. But in DHA method, no need to open holes. After we take the graft, technicians put the graft and only make implantation with the DHA choy pen. And why DHA choy pen? Even I had a head transplantation. I had a DHA about 2000 grafts for my front because DHA is there is a much benefit than FAS Sapphire. First, no need to cut, no need to open hole. This is the first reason. And second reason, we can increase the dance and we can implantation without damaging the existing care. And then uh, third reason, uh, there will be no swelling. And after uh, implantation, there will be no swelling. And fourth reason, the healing time is faster. Why faster? Because we don't cut, we don't uh, open the holes with the blade. Healing time is faster. And the other reason, other benefit, when we take the graft from donor area, when we put choy pan, we directly put in choy pan, the hair root doesn't get damaged. We direct implant. That is why DHA success rate minimum 95%. But with Sapphire method, when doctor open holes and when uh, technicians put the graft, sometimes they can damage the graft, they can uh, break the root. When they break the root, the hair doesn't grow. And the other things with the Sapphire method, two technicians implant. Doctor open the holes, technician implant. For example, one technician can put this direction, other technician can put other direction. So it's gonna look different. So that is why we only do DHI, we only prefer DHI method and we don't do Sapphire anymore. I also am, I want to tell you about my experience. Sometimes I travel all over the world. I go Brazil, I go Mexico, I go USA, I go Europe. And everybody, of course, they do hair transplantation. But why Turkey is very popular about hair transplantation? Why Turkey is very famous about hair transplantation? Why people prefer Turkey? The first reason, it is affordable. Because when you have the hair transplantation in USA, you pay about $10,000. And when you have hair transplantation in Europe, you pay about €5,000. And also, the other things, for example, before there was a FUT method, which is old method, cut the skin and after stitch. And after uh, a few sapphire, uh, which is open holes with the blade, and the latest one, DHI method. The other countries, what I have seen, they don't do DHI. Still in USA, they, few, they do a few T method. Still in USA, they do a few method. Only DHI in Turkey. And the other reason, for example, of course, there are many good doctors. There are many, uh, they do very good operation, and success is very good. But our difference, we do operation every single day. But in other countries, of course they do, but they don't do as much as we do. Because when we do every day, every single day operation, of course we get much experience. And that is why people prefer Turkey. First reason, budget. It is very affordable price. And second reason, we do operation every single day and we get experience uh, as well. And that is why people prefer Turkey. Also, there, is a, there are many clinics in Turkey. I cannot say we are the best or all of them very good or all of them very bad. Because the price starts from 1000 euro until 10,000 uh, euro. Also, there is a price like that in Turkey. Because there are 500 clinics almost. Uh, but that is what I can tell you. So you need to search about this very well. You need to check before after photos. You need to check reviews, everything. That is very important. So then you can decide easily. And also when you come to Istanbul, you don't need to about anything because we have a full VIP package. What is full VIP package? 
You just need to send us your flight ticket. When you book your flight ticket, when you send, our driver is going to take you from the airport. From the airport, we're going to take you to Five Stars Hotel and you sleep one night in the hotel. Next day, first you have a breakfast. You can eat anything what you like in a breakfast before operation, no problem. After you have breakfast, we're going to take you to the clinic. When we take you to the clinic, first we're going to do some consultation and you're going to fill uh, some papers. What's it? We're going to ask you about your medical history. Do you have any illness? Do you have any sickness? Do you have hepatitis B, hepatitis C, HIV? After we listen to your medical uh, story, then we're going to make consultation. But before consultation also, we're going to make blood analysis. This is for sure, for everyone, we do blood analysis. Sometimes people think we don't do, but for sure, for everyone, we do blood analysis. And after we do blood analysis, we're going to make consultation. So we're going to check face to face, because sometimes uh, from the photo, it is not understandable 100% how many graft you need and what you need. So before operation, we're going to make uh, consultation and we make hair analyze and we tell you what you're gonna do this is very important don't cut or don't shave your hair before come why because if you cut and if you shave we cannot understand which one is thin hair which one is thick hair if you shave if you cut so please don't shave don't cut your hair before you come also if you use any medication you need to let us know before you come. For example, if you use minoxidil, you have to stop two weeks before. If you use finasteride, you have to stop two weeks before. If you are diabetic, for example, you need to tell us you can still take your uh, diabetic tablet. If you have blood pressure, you need to still tell us, but you, still, you can still keep us uh, take your tablets. So that is why what you do before you come, you need to let us know. So after consultation, we're going to tell you how much graft you need roughly and how many uh, hours operation going to take. Then we take your photo before operation to compare before after. And after that, we're going to draw your hairline, which is very important. How we draw hairline? When you raise your eyebrow up, your, uh, you can see your face muscle like this. And where the face muscle finish, then we draw your hairline. Everybody has a different head shape. For example, mine is V shape. Sometimes people is a straight. Uh, after we draw hairline, we show you and how it's gonna look. If you like it, we keep it. If you don't like it, if you want it lower or upper, we can do however you want. After we decide your hairline, then we start to make operation, which is gonna take about between four to eight hours. And sometimes people ask us, uh, can I have a hair transplantation without shaving? Yes, you can, but if you just need front area. Because if you need full, and if we shave here, and if you don't shave here, it is a little bit difficult for us, and also it is going to look a little bit funny. But if you just need front area, and we just shave a little bit here, then you can have hair transplantation without shaving. Also, if your donor array is not enough for implantation, if it is weak, thin, also we can take from the beard as well. This is very strong hair and this is very thick hair. Also we can take extraction from the beard and sometimes when people need also we can take from body as well. And we take from here, we can take from chest and we take from uh, back of your head, then we can make implantation. And I tell this to our patients all the time. Uh, I don't call hair transplant as an operation even. Why? Because there will be no cut, there will be no stitch. Only we take one by one with under local anesthesia with FUE and make implantation with DHI method. So when you come here, you don't need to scare, you don't need to worry. I always call uh, hair treatment because there will be no cut, there will be no stitch. And we do under local anesthesia. For example, when you go to dentist, dentist make anesthesia, and after anesthesia, you feel nothing. It is safe. 
vegan make anesthesia after anesthesia you not gonna feel anything during the operation <coughs> you can play with your mobile phone you can connect internet you can watch tv whenever you want you can give a break for toilet or anything else so hey transplantation like that now uh, we improve ourselves every single day and it is getting easier every single day so when you come for hair transplantation my recommendation even i had a hair transplantation my recommendation is this one make a very good research but don't think about too much when you think too much when you think over and you get confused and you get more confused then you cannot decide just make a, a search very well once when you decide don't think about anything because when you think too much it is not good also for your hair and you cannot make decision uh, healthy just check before after photos check google reviews check all the posts on the instagram and that is the most important and reviews when you check everything just decide and don't think about it anymore and after just do it and hair transplantation not only for men also we can do hair transplantation for women as well and also we can do eyebrow and hair transplant for the woman actually for the woman different before they come uh, we need to check because uh, men hair loss usually genetic 90 percent but woman hair loss also genetic but sometimes it is hormonal because men when they lose hair they lose only on top or front but women they lose hair they can lose from all over the head same here same here also we can do hair transplantation for women but of course before they come we need to analyze and also we can do eyebrow implantation for women you can see our before after photos for the eyebrow we take only lower part of the back of head which is hair very thin and we take only single hairs to implant also for the beard as well we do beard implantation for the men as well and also this is very important uh, maybe some of uh, you don't know to give natural look when we make hair transplantation front line must be only single hair single graft if we implant the front part which graft has double, triple or portable hair, it is not going to be natural. For the front line, must be always single hair. Also for the beard, if we implant with the double, triple or portable hair for the beard, it is not going to look natural. For the beard also must be always single graft, single hair. So uh, in easy way, we can make hair transplantation, we can do eyebrow, we can do beard transplantation and also we can do female hair transplantation so uh, whatever you need whatever you curious about hair transplantation you can ask us anytime you can contact us anytime you just need to come here three days that's it and simple take from here and implant here if there is a five hair we take two of them the graft we take it doesn't grow back anymore and implant here very homogeneously also i want to explain sometimes we recommend people two session why two session entirely the person is bought and donor array is limited not too much uh, this area larger and bigger than donor area so what we do in that case we recommend people two session why two session because when we take care imagine we take 30 40 percent when we take 40 percent if you put all over the head the density gonna be very less so it is not going to look very good what we do in that case we say you need two session when people need two session if there's a five year on donor area we take two of them from front until corona area we put that graft two after six months when donor area healed we check again donor area when healed there is a three hair we check which one is available to take or which one is thicker we take one more then we cover the crown area 
So that is why sometimes we recommend people two session and I did try to explain when people need two session how we do it also when people need two session also we can take also from the beard as well uh, I try to answer as much as uh, you need about a transplantation I hope this information is going to be helpful for you I cannot say we are the best because there are many good clinics uh, about health transplantation but if you ask our difference than others I can say this we make maximum two operation in a day in a circana to focus patient and full operation uh, made it by doctor only doctor make operation with DHI method uh, I don't say again we are the best but we do our best to give you best natural hair result after a transplantation thank you very much for listening to me for a and if you have any question you can ask me anytime you want have a nice day